outside tonight. It wasn't just cold. It was windy again. It's it certainly not. Spring. Uh, it's you, spring. That's right. It was winter really... accessories. Yes, that's, <laughs> that's what. I meant. That's right. Look, you know what? Listen, fashion-wise, the winter clothing is so nice. You don't want to put it too deep in the closet. Let me show you guys what's going on. It is a cold night out there, and it's going to get colder still as you go through the overnight. So there's my picture. Southern tip of Manhattan. A partly cloudy sky overhead. It is 40 degrees right now, right here at our studio. CBS reporting 39 degrees. Okay, about 40 the official reading in Central Park. Temperatures are going to continue to drop during the overnight. In fact, you're dropping not only into the lower 30s, maybe into the 20s around New York City. Could possibly get down to 29, and then your lower 20s, maybe even some teens, well north and west. That's your actual thermometer reading. Remember, the wind chill makes those numbers feel even colder still. Now we will warm you up. Is that the right use of that phrase? We're going to warm you up to 40. I mean, you're struggling to get to the freezing mark in Monticello. Uh, lots of 30s. And look at this, widespread 30s. 35 for Sparta, far west of the city. 37 for Montauk. Those are forecast high temperatures tomorrow. It's a cold day out there. So what do you expect? You expect that tomorrow is going to be the worst of it. Okay, It's our coldest day. But it is going to be another cold start Saturday morning. National Weather Service has already said, hey, Let's be on alert. We're going to issue right now a freeze watch, not a freeze warning, but a freeze watch for Saturday morning. We're going to have, have more cold out there, not as cold, but it's going to be out there. You will be on track for around 60 degrees for both of your weekend days. And then, in fact, 60s for all of next week. I'll show you what's going on. Uh, precipitation wise, it looks like, hey, a couple little snowflakes here. Or there may be a raindrop on the Nassau Suffolk County line. Most of that is upper level. You can zoom in tight here. Um, okay, right. Along the Hudson around Terrytown, maybe a flake flying around, but it's just not much of anything. Uh, Oyster Bay, you've seen a, a, a little raindrop, a little piece of sleet or so. A lot of it not making it all, all the way down, like I said, to the surface itself. But the bigger picture will show you that, <laughs> that this, this cartoon character of Old Man Winter blown in the cold air. I'm using them again uh, for the overnight into tomorrow morning. Gusty winds, cold air for your Friday. I just showed you that. Here's how things will stack up by the time you get to the weekend 56 on Saturday, 62 for your Easter Sunday. So milder air returns in terms of anything brewing for wet weather out there. I don't see it for all. Of next week. Here's my extended forecast 42 cold for Friday, 56 and 62 for your weekend days, 63 Monday, 64, 66, 67 by the time we get to Thursday. And really, I have a chance for some rain maybe next Thursday, but it, it's running a very slight risk right now. I just wanted to say, hey, there's maybe some moisture in the atmosphere, but not a lot. Guys, that's my seven days. It's all yours. Okay, Lonnie, thank you. Thanks.